What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're bringing you guys another banger of an off meta squad. We are rocking out with a weakness policy, clean clank team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel or just new here, consider subscribing. It really does go a long way and it only takes two seconds of your guys' time to subscribe and support me as a content creator. But this team right here was made by my main man, Gail. Gail, huge shout out to you for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. If you guys want to send me rental codes, make sure you follow me over on Twitter, Jeans YouTube over on Twitter. Link is down in the description below. DM me or tweet me over there. I'll try to get back to everybody and try to use as many fan teams as Ten. But let's get started here in that top left corner starting out with Incineroar. We got Intimidate alongside with that Shukaberry, and then everything else is pretty normal. You really can't go wrong with this Incineroar. We got Fake Out, we got Snarl, we got Flare Blitz for Stab, and then we got Party Shot for Pivoting, and Attack and Special Attack Drop. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Calyrex over here, and Calyrex is just one of the best in the game. It is just super, super strong, super quick, hits like a truck at the same time, just cannot go wrong with it. We got the as one ability, alongside with the focus dash, then we got bulldoze to, you know, proc that policy on that clink clank. We got palm puff for coverage move and to heal up allied Pokemon. Obviously, we're rocking Ash Barrage for our stab move, then we got will o -Wiz for our fourth and final move. Middle left is going to be our support Amoongus over here with the regenerator, so every time it hops in a battle, it gets some more HP back. It's got the Koba Berry as the item, Rage Powder, Spore, Palm Puff, and Protect. Fairly normal moveset for any Amoongus. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Clink Clank. And I don't think I have ever seen this Pokemon used in ranked battles. So this one's going to be fun. Hopefully we can grab some wins with him. He's got Clear Body as his ability. It's also rocking Weakness Policy. And then it's got Steel Roller for Stab, Wild Charge for Coverage, Giga Impact for Coverage, and last but not least, it's Rock and Protect. This Pokemon's really only, only going to be used with the Calyrex. Going to be Dynamaxing him. And hopefully, you know, it can just get off some big damage. Just roll off from there. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our second restricted mod. It is going to be Palkia, and Palkia is phenomenal. It is just so good in Series 12. It's got pressure alongside with the Life Orb, then it's got Spatial Mind, Hydro Pump, Boot for Stab, then it's got Earth Power and Trick Room for its fourth and final move. So we can either counter Trick Room with that or set it up if we need it. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be Snorlax. This Pokemon, definitely one of those Pokemon that need Trick Room. It's got Thick Bat alongside with the Soul Fest, and it's got Giga Impact for Stab, High Horsepower for coverage, Darkest Lady for coverage, and Iron Head for another coverage. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, not the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this weakness policy, clean clank team. We're rolling into battle number one, and we're going up against a strong Ho-Oh team. He's got Dragapult, Regilecki, Ho-Oh, Groudon, Groudon, he can set the drought for the Ho-Oh, and then he's got the uh, Grimstorm and P2 for support. How should we go into this one? How should we play? I really want to go into Clink Clank and Proc Policy and kind of go from there. I feel like that could be really, really good because it does have a ton of physical attackers, but at the same time, Ho-Oh and Groudon could do absolutely Clank. So that could be a problem. Do I do it anyway? He has a ton of physical attackers, so Clink Clank can do some work. What's your speed at Clink Clank? I didn't even check its speed. Let me see its speed. Its HP is low. HP is low, low. It's speed and attack. This thing is actually really solid on the attack and speed board, but its HP is low. When it's Dynamax, is, it's not even in the 300s. It's not even in 300s. What is that? 272? 272 when Dynamax is. But, uh, you know, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. We'll go Calyrex. We'll go Clink Clank. We'll bring Palkia in the back end. And last but not least, uh... Go in Cinnamon. and Cinnamon will probably be your best bet. Like I said, a few different physical attackers. Uh, where do I go Snorlax? Maybe try to proc policy in the game. Let's go Snorlax. I mean, we have Thick Bat, which is really good. This little Thick Bat action. Half damage for fire and ice moves. I'll take Snorlax in here. We'll roll out with him. Because if uh, Clink Clank and Calyrex don't work out, I might just pop a trick him with a uh, Palkia and roll from there. We'll see. We'll see who he wants to leave. But yeah, I don't think he's going to lead the Ho-Oh. And if he leads the Ho-Oh, we have a little bit of trouble on our hands. But still, we'll, we'll see how this one can play. I mean, at that point, I could just proc policy and go into a wild charge. Coverage move. It'd be pretty solid. Let's see what he goes into. Let's see who you're leading. Let me Groudon alongside with uh, Grimstar. Okay. So Groudon and Grimstar come out here. I think I just proc policy, take out the Grimstar, get that special defense or that physical defense boost. And then maybe try to set up a burn onto that Groudon. It's not too shabby. That is not too bad. Because, like I said, his speed is rather fast. His speed's rather fast. So let's do it. Let's we roll out with that. Dynamax, look at this. Base 140. God, I love it. I love it. Roll into that shot. And then, yeah, we'll just bulldoze. Proc the policy, slow both of them down. We have clear body with Kling Clang. We'll slow them down. And then hopefully I can get off another turn, which I should be able to. Because at this point, 
I wonder what uh, Clink or uh, Grimshaw is going for. Hopefully, it's a fake out onto Clink Clank. But I think he's just going to set up a screen, and I feel like we take him out through the screen. You know, we got that stab move rolling out here. We got the weakest policy proc. Should be pretty solid. Like I said, 272 HP. Let's get buzzing with Clink Clank. He's going to do Protect the Groudon. He's going to Light Screen. Ooh, he Light Screens. I kind of like that. I kind of like that because my boy's physical. Isn't he physical attacking? Yeah, Clink Clank's physical attacking. If we can get rid of this Grimstar right here. Oh, baby. Yeah, he should be dead. He should be dead. We proc policy. We'll take this defense boost all day long. And I think I think I'm just gonna throw a burn onto the ground on. Wait, that's gotta be my play. He's rolling out with physical attackers. He's rolling out with physical attackers. Steel spikes gonna fly through here. I'm gonna chip up some damage. We're gonna say bye bye Grimstar here. Yeah, see you later, Grimstar. So strong start with the clink clank. Strong start with the clink clank. I love this guy. Defense boost on top of that. That's huge. Like I said, he has a bunch of physical attackers on his team. Well, more so his two restricted mods. With ground on ho-oh so big defense boost is gonna help us out blade's gonna fly here he's gonna do some damage clink clank cadillac's gonna be able to soak up pretty well then at this point do i throw a burn onto the ground on and just go after whoever he throws out here it's gonna be p2 who he throws out here yeah let's go defense boost here and uh he might pop a trick room and that's fine by me i kind of want him to pop a trick room. i kind of want him to pop a trick room. so you know what? i'm just gonna grab another defense boost and I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna go for the burn on the ground on. Ground's either gonna uh, he ground on might even protect here. Ground on might protect. And I don't think he can take out my Calyrex or my Clink Clank with blades after this defense boost, but we'll see. We'll see what he wants to do here. I'm just hoping he doesn't protect. I'm hoping he kinda just goes into blades with ground on. And then goes from there. Cool. So what is gonna go here? I kinda I'm hoping he pops Trick him. Trick him could be good for us. So we'll burn the ground on, make him do a lot less damage on the physical attacking side. And Clink Clank is going to grant us another defense boost. That's big. And how much damage are we going to do with his P2? That's some solid damage on the P2. I really like that. So is he going to pop a Trick Room? I am curious. I am curious to see if he's going to pop a Trick Room. Maybe he'll miss a Blades. He's going to go for a Foul Play. So Foul Play probably takes us out, right? Does not. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. He's going to go for a Blades here, right? Blades double connects again. Clink Clank, do you eat? You don't eat, but Calyrex, you ate. He gets a crit on Clink Clank. I was wondering why he didn't eat that. Get out my face, man. Get out of my face with that. Okay, so that one hurts a little bit. Um, at this point, I just go into Palkia. I do not pop a trick room. Or I can just go straight into Snorlax. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Special Ryan isn't bad. Special Ryan's a one-turn move. Yeah, it's really bad. I do dig that. Um, Drought should end rather soon. So that could be good when he brings out Ho-Oh. That could be great when he brings out Ho-Oh. That's kind of whack right there. That is definitely kind of whack. So yeah, we're going to uh, roll out with this. He does have the, uh, what is that thing called? The light screen out and about, which kind of stinks. But I'm going to go for a space run. I think space run should be able to take out regardless. And what do I do from here? What do I do from here? I could just go for the Astro Brush. Try to chip up some damage on the ground. I'm, I'm with it. He is burned. Like I said, he still has Dynamax, which is rather scary. Which is definitely rather scary. So we'll see what he wants to do here. We shall see what he wants to do here. But again, we have that strong in the back end. Isn't too shabby. Isn't too shabby with a thick fat. I do like the thick fat. Man. I do like this thick fat. But of course he gets a crit on Clink Clank. Like Clink Clank should have one more turn here. He should have one more turn. That's ridiculous that he actually uh got that crit off. Like the odds of that happening. First of all, in the last video, I miss blades all day long. I miss blades all day long. Oh, he's gonna ally switch here. Not too bad. That keeps his uh, that keeps his P2 alive. Astro Barrage is gonna come out here. Right, so P2 is gonna stay alive here, and Groudon's gonna take some damage here. Groudon probably goes down here, right? Maybe, maybe not because of Light Tree. Yeah, probably not because of Light Tree. It's a nice little alley. So Space Rain comes out here. Give me, give me a crit. I'm due for a crit. I'm due for a crit. Of course I don't get the crit. Of course I don't get the crit. I'll take some Life Orb damage. He's gonna go for Blaze. And finally, miss one. Miss Calyrex. Palkia dodges it, of course. Okay. So that happens. Palkia's sitting fine on the HP board. Um, okay. That's cool. And we're going to chip up some damage here. So, like I said, he still has Dynamax. But back to my story. I missed tons of blades. I missed tons of blades in the last episode. Actually lost me two battles. And this guy can connect blades with crits? Come on, man. Get out of my face. But luckily, he just missed one there. So, that kind of that kind of makes me a little happier. But we're going to end up going into Snorlax here. Uh, Space Run's definitely my play. Is he going to ally switch again? I just have a bunch of coverage moves. Hmm. I don't want to kick an impact because then I can't move next turn. So that's kind of like a last ditch effort. 
I like to go for like a move like uh, Iron Head or something. Maybe get a flinch, but we're gonna go last, so. Hmm. Hmm. What do I do? What do I go after here? I think Spatial Ryan should be able to take out P2. You know, I'm just gonna go for Dark Slayer over onto this. See how some plays. Is he gonna ally switch again? Please don't ally switch again. Please do not ally switch again. Just leave me alone. Space Ryan gonna come through here. Take him out. Please get the crit. Come on, Palkia. You're my dude. Take him out. Palkia. Man, dude, I need the crit. Should've went after him. So Palkia does outspeed everything. He's gonna go for a foul play in the Palkia. Palkia's gonna be able to soak pretty well. And again, he sells Dynamax. He's going Bro, he lands a one hit KO? Dude, is that like 30 accuracy? What is going on? Bro, oh, dude, I can't do it. I can't do this game anymore. I can't do this game anymore. I can't. I cannot do it. I'm making all the right plays and we're losing. I'm making all the right plays just to lose. Just lose. Earth Power should be able to take it out here. Oh my god. All the right plays just to lose. That hurts. Yo, I swear, if he lands another fish here, we're done. Videos wrap it up. You guys are getting a one, one battle video. Because I know he's going for it. I know he's going for it. I'm going to be so upset. I'm going to be so upset. How do you land a Fisher first try? <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it, guys. I swear. We're sitting in a solid spot. And he gets a crit and he lands a Fisher. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I can't do it anymore, guys. My RNG, like, this game, you ride highs and lows. Like, some, some weeks, I'm just like, perfect record, perfect record, perfect record. And then this week is an example of a bad week. Down in the dumps, losing records, RNG screwing us over. But we get rid of the P2 finally. Let's see what he does from here. Again, he sells Dynamax. P lands a Fisher, yo. Get out of my face. He goes for Blades, and this isn't going to do a lot. Did he just crit? Why did that do so much damage? You are burned. That did so much damage. Okay. Um. Yeah, this one's, this one's tough. We definitely lost this one unless he misses a... No, nah, he, he's going to win this one. I might as well just run it, because he's going to bring out Ho-Oh, right, and Dynamax it. That hurts the soul, man. That hurts the soul. The crit on my Clink Clank, and the Fisher land on my Snorlax. And the Fisher land on my Snorlax. Because we would have taken out, uh, we would have taken out Groudon there with that Snorlax if we had him. It would have been a 2v1. I could have popped a Hydro Pump, could have went to some Giga Impacts. Could have started to get off some work here. But I do have the thick battle on Snorlax, so again, I think it's gonna be Ho-Oh. -Oh. He can't really do much with his fire damage. But we'll see who goes into. We shall see. What's he thinking about here? Is he just wasting my time? What are you doing, kind sir? You only have one more Pokemon left. And it's going to be Yeah, Ho-Oh. -Oh. Cool. Um, I might pop it. I might I might, I might see how much damage my Hydro Pump can do. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Maybe just maybe on the off chance he does Dynamax, but he's definitely gonna Dynamax, right? He's definitely gonna throw it out there, see what he can do. But that, that one hurts so I'm actually glad we got shove clink clank though. I'm glad we got shove clink clank. But second battle, I'm guaranteeing you guys a victory, dude. I'm guaranteeing you guys a victory battle number two. Because this one hurts, yo. Losing RNG just sucks, man. Fritz and Fishers. I just keep thinking, to, thinking back to that clink clank. Like, if that clink clank survived there, that's another weakness policy shot. We're getting another defense boost. We're rolling out strong. That means Calyrex survives a little bit longer. It's just more turns. It's just more turns. And I could have pollen puffed and healed up my clink clank too. We could have rolled out strong. We could have been buzzing. We could have been buzzing. But this guy's taking an awfully long time to actually pick his turn. But there it goes. And I miss a Hydro Pump. I miss a Hydro Pump. Take a Fire comes out here. Can we eat that? We do. Watch. He's going to land a Fisher. I swear. If he lands a Fisher here. He gets a, what is this RNG against me? What is this RNG? This guy doesn't miss Blades. He dodges attacks. He gets crits. It's, it's just the whole nine yards. And he lands Fishers. Everything. We're going to put that last battle behind us. We're not going to worry about it. We're not even going to think about it. We lost that one. RNG did us dirty, but we're hopping into our second battle, and we're going to grab ourselves a win here. We're going up against a Sassian and Shadow Rider Calyrex meta team with Defiant Thunderous. He's got Whimsicott, Incineroar, and Regilecki. Okay, how should I go with this one? How should I play it? I could go Calyrex and Clink Clank. It's really not that bad of a combo here in this battle. I'm kind of digging it because, you know, speed control is great clink clank is rather on the faster side and then he gets some nice defense boost up against a few physical attackers so i'm kind of with that all day we'll bring palkin to back end in case we want to pop trick room and then instant or just rolls out strong right yeah i'm with it or i could just pop a trick room turn one i could go like a mungus palkia rage powder pop a trick room and go from there 
That's not too bad. But if he say he leads like the Calyrex alongside with like Regilecki, then it could be a problem. It could be a problem. That could be a problem for us here too. But uh, we'll see how this one plays. We shall see how this one plays out here. He's got to be leading either the Regilecki or the Calyrex, right? Or maybe just a Whimsicott and something. Whimsicott could take some speed control, but I don't think he's even going to bring the Whimsicott. I think Regilecki and uh, Calyrex might be his lead. This could be a problem to us. It's going to be Calyrex and Thunders. Okay. So we don't slow down the... Uh, don't slow down the thunders. It's a little whack, but I'll take this defense boost all day. I'm gonna bulldoze, and then I am just going to go straight into a uh, steel spike to take out the Calyrex. I play all day. And then at that point, we set we have our focus dash, which I really really like. So I'm gonna go here, steel spike you, take you out, and then just bulldoze across the board. Right. Like I said, we have the focus dash, so we should be chilling. Should be chilling, but I don't think a minus one. Uh, Calyrex is slower than Clank Clank. It would be great. It would be great, but his his Calyrex might be We'll see what he wants to do here. He's gonna end up withdrawing Calyrex. Okay, I'm cool with that. So who are we going after here? Who are we getting after in this shot? Dang it. Hate this game. Hate this game. We do have clear body, which works wonders. Uh, I wonder if he's gonna Dynamax that uh that what's it called? That Thunders. He is. He is gonna Dynamax Thunders. Maybe he's going after Calyrex at that point. Maybe he's going after Calyrex. I kinda want him to go after Calyrex. I mean, uh, this max steel spike's not going to do too much damage, but the defense boost is just huge. It's just huge. I'm pretty sure Thunder's outspeeds my speed. What are we, like 153, 156? On speedboard, that thing's a bit faster. That thing is usually up in like the 160s, 170s range. But we're going to die to max clean clank. Let's get after it. But a solid swap from him, from his Calyx. I think he just he just knew that we had a threat on him. I could have dropped an Astral Barrage if I wanted to. I could have done that if I wanted to. But we're going to die to max clean clank. We get rolling here. It is great that we have clear body and we can't be faked out next turn either. That's just huge for us all around. But I really need this defense boost. I really need it. So we'll slow down the uh We will slow down the instant war here, which is great. We'll proc our policy and hopefully that thunder is going after my calyx. That would just be good for us all around. It could really just be good for us all around. So let's see what he does here. Good, go after my calyx. Just don't go for an airstream. We do not want an airstream. He goes for a darkness. Yeah, he's gonna go after calyx here. Calyx has Focus Ash. That is huge for us. So Focus Ash is going to poke. It's not too shabby. And that's going to be, uh, what is that? A special Defense Drop? It's a Special Defense Drop. And he has two Physical Attackers out. So that's huge. Or he has two Physical Attackers. That's good. So Seal Spike's going to fire. Like I said, it's not going to do some ridiculous amount of damage. But it should be solid. Cool. Nice little Defense Boost is going to poke out here. I could go after Thunders at this point, And I might double down into it. I might double down into that Thunders. I might do it. I could slow him down here as well. Might double down into Thunder. He's defiant. So we really do, we don't want to go for Max Strike. We can just double down until we go for an Astro Barrage here. I know Astro Barrage probably won't take out the uh, Incineroar. But still. I would love to chip up some damage here and do it. Yeah, so we're doubling down here. We get off some nice damage there. Can Max Lightning go next? I don't think it does. He's going to go for an Airstream. That's going to go after who? He's going to go after Calyrex. And then he's just going to Flare Blitz into me. Okay, I'm cool with that. He's gonna flare blitz into me. We are defense boosted, which I really, really like. And we should be able to soak up this flare blitz. And he should take some recoil damage. But on top of this, this lightning should be able to do a decent amount of damage. Just solid for us. Which is real solid for us. So lightning's gonna fly here. How much damage are we doing? It's probably not gonna KO, but still decent amount of damage, right? Yeah. Decent amount of damage. Let's keep rolling with Clint Clank. So we get that that terrain boost. He has speed, which is a little scary. But I kinda wanna try to pop a trick room here. Parting shots can come out here. And we're clear body. So that, that was dumb. I was dumb. You knew I was clear body. You knew I was clear body. So I could go in with that, but I'm going to go in with Palkia. And I think I'm going to try to pop a trick room at this point. I think I'm going to try to pop the trick room at this point. Probably going to party shot into me, but trick room could be really, really good for us. I could go into another steel spike. Get rid of you. He's going to try to party shot. Just go for a trick room. That's going to be my play, right? It's got to be my play. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because if I can get off this trick room, we can take off Thunders no problem next turn. We can kind of roll off from there. With it. I'm with it. I still have Incident War 2, who, who's going to be good in the back end. Especially in trick room with uh, dark moves up against Calyrex. I like it. So I think we should be fine getting off this trick room. I don't think Thunders can take out either of my Pokemon here. Because again, Clink Clank's plus one on defense, and Palkia should be able to outbulk this lightning. You can go for Palkia, you should be able to outbulk this lightning. Thank you very much. And then Steel Spike's going to be able to take him out, get a defense boost, and then Trick Room is going to be out. So solid turns for us. 
Solid, solid turn for us, considering he has super, super fast Pokemon. He has super, super fast Pokemon. Clink like might be able to outspeed them both in Trick Room. We know we can outspeed a Thunders in Trick Room, which is huge. So I do adore this. I do adore this. I do adore this. Trick Room's going to come out and about. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we're just going to go from there. We're just going to go from there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. Okay, so uh, Dynamax turns are over for both of us. And I wonder who he's going to go into. You're probably not Kallax, right? He's going to go into Zassian here. So Zassian's going to come out here, and I could Steel Roll. I could definitely Steel Roll. I could hard swap into Incineroar too, which wouldn't be bad. But I do like the defense boost on this Palkia as of right now. I do really like this defense boost on Palkia. Um, okay. What do I do here? Steel Roll could come out here. Hmm. I'm going to Steel Roll into you. I'll still roll into you and I'll just spatial run and take you out, right? Probably my best bet. You might protect the uh, Zassian, but I think we're fine with this. We have weakness policy proc. I really do like where we're sitting. I really do like that trick and call. That was a great trick and call from us. Run it, baby. Come on, jeans. We need this win. Hop on our horse. Let's go, Clink Clank. I'm loving Clink Clank, yo. Clink Clank's a lot of fun to use. I love using Pokemon that I never used before, too. It's just always good. Space Romance going to poke out here. We're going to say bye bye to Thunderous. He's going to this all day, crit or no crit. So we'll say see ya. And we probably got a crit. Yeah, we got a crit. <laughs> we get crits when we don't need him. We get crits when we don't need him. Steel Roller's going to poke out here next. And how much damage is Steel Roller going to do? I'm curious. I'm curious. How much damage are you going to do? KO. Oh, let's go. Oh, is that thing sashed? It's not sashed. It just gets super lucky. It's not sashed. It just gets ridiculously lucky. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. That hurts soul, though. That hurts soul. But we have Incineroar here with Snarl, which is which is huge. The thing's not sash. What is this? The thing's not sash. It's not sash. We take out terrain. Um Yeah, I'm not gonna fake out. I'm just gonna snarl here. Snarl and double down into Calyrex. Right? Trick him. We have we're buzzing with trick him turns. So that's huge for us. That is enormous for us. Thing legit survived on one. Like, come on, yo. What you mean? Survives on one. Get out of my face with that. Get out of my face. How many turns left to trick him? Three. That is beautiful. Yo, look at my boy Clink Clank. Look at my boy Clink Clank on this sad boost. We love it. We love it so much. But uh, yeah, we'll just go into a uh just go into a wild charge and we'll just snarl here. Right, because Snarl takes out Zassian. Snarl will take off the sash of the Calyrex. I really like that. He's gonna end up protecting Zassian. That's cool. Are you double protecting? We have plenty of turns left to trick him. So we can do this all day. We can do this all day. We can do this all day, baby. Snarl's gonna come out here. Do some nice damage and wild charge should be able to do enough damage here we're plus two on the tackle should be able to do enough damage here right wild charge please clink clank your mvp clink clank it's okay incineroar should be able to eat this up clink clank did not ko at her soul clink clank's probably dead here right it's okay it's okay we have two turns left in trick room it's okay snarl can finish this one off Snarl can finish this one off. The only way we lose this battle is if we miss a Snarl onto this Asian. Only, only way we lose it. Only way. Let's go, Incineroar. You got two turns left in Trick Room. So he might protect one Pokemon this time. But just land your Snarls. That's all you got to do. It's RNG be, be decent. It's just got to be decent. It doesn't have to be perfect for us. It's just got to be decent. It's just got to be decent. Let's go, Incineroar. Wrap this battle up. Give us our first victory for today. Come on, yo. Dude, we're rolling strong with Clank. He's doing he's doing amazing. He's doing amazing. Even though Zassian should be dead, and I'm surprised he didn't KO that uh that Calyrex there with that wild charge, but it's all good. He's gonna land a double protect, which is crazy. And he's gonna he's not gonna double protect. So we're gonna do that. And Snarl connects. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, that works that works perfect. Because there's no way he's landing a triple protect, right? If he lands a triple protect, I'll cry. Because I don't think I've ever seen that be done. Landing a triple protect. Okay, so now we just go into a hundred accuracy move. He lands a triple protect. I'm done. I'm I'd like, dude, that would be ridiculous. I've never seen that actually happen before. Nah, yo, no, yo, dude, no. Triple protect? Triple protect? Yo, eat this up, Incineroar. He's minus one. Triple protect. Yo, yo, guys, guys, I need help. I need help. Dude, I just don't know what to do anymore. I do not know what to do anymore. 
Really, guys? Really? Triple protect? A triple protect? I have never seen that in my life. I've never seen that in my life. It just goes to show how bad our RNG has been recently on the rank. But it's all good. We do not go 0-3. We should be 2-0, but we're 0-2. But we're hopping into our third and final battle. Let's grab ourselves a victory here. We're going up against Yvelta and Zacian with uh, Regilecki, Grimmsnarl, Swampert, and Wilbur. Okay, I'm cool with that. I don't really mind it too much. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? Calyrex is definitely a solid little lead. I could actually lead Calyrex and Clink Clank, which could do some work for me, but at the same time, it could be a little tough for us. I do like the Calyrex and Clink Clank. It's been working well for us. Again, RNG has just been screwing us, man. It really has been doing me dirty, and I think this is going to be good for us. Those two. And then just bring Palkia and Incineroar in the back end. Right? It looks good. It feels good. I'm kind of with it. I am kind of with it. It's feeling good again. I just like this team right here. I really do. I could actually bring a Strolax. Strolax could be solid, but uh, I just like this squad that we're rolling out with. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. I'm tired of this RNG losing to it, man. It's rough. It is rough because it's just like, dude, I'm bringing you guys such good battles. I feel like I'm playing out of my mind. Really, really good. Making some good plays. Making some good swaps. Everything all around. And then we're just losing to like something that we can't control. That's the only thing that 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 I do not like about Pokemon. Stuff that you can't control sometimes lose you the match. And I can only imagine for people playing in tournaments. Like imagine if I, this was tournament play. For them. That'd be wild. That would be that would be absurd. Like imagine if I was in like world championships and somebody did that. Like come on, though. imagine losing like that. That's just that's just tough. That could be that could be awful. The tournaments like I think world champions went over like ten grand. Imagine losing ten grand off that. I'd be so upset. I would be so upset. But he's gonna end up going into your belt tall alongside with uh Grimmy Grim and I'm kinda cool with that. I don't mind it. I mean I can Dynamax. I'll bulldoze. And I'll go into I could go into Wild Charge, but Steel Spike's gonna be my play. Just get rid of this, his support mon here. Just to get rid of the support mon and then we can go from there. I don't mind it. And I wonder if that thing's physical. So I would love to throw a burn onto it that you both. I do have Will of Wisp. I do have lovely little Will of Wisp. We'll see what he wants to roll out from here, with here. See what you want to do, kind sir. I'm going to end up Dynamaxing. I don't think he's going to Dynamax. I don't think he Dynamaxes. Because he's about to should be faster than that Clink Clank. We're going to Bulldoze. We're going to slow down that Grimmsnarl. I wonder what Grimmsnarl is going for. Hopefully he sets up like a Light Screen. I think he would because that will keep my Clink Clank getting some full damage off because he is physical attacking. But let's see what he does. He's going to fake out. Maybe look for it. Yes, he is. That's gorgeous. We love that turn. We love that turn. It's a huge turn for us. Not very effective. Bulldoze is going to fly through here. Does not affect Yvelta. We're going to get rid of Grimstone with no support for him, which is huge. That is huge. Unless Yvelta is like doing something crazy. Let's see. Let's see what Yvelta is going to do. Or does Clink Clank just straight up outspeed? It does. It's gorgeous. We love that. Clink Clank outspeeds the Yvelta. That's huge news because I can drop a, I can drop a Thunderbolt or a Max Lightning into him. That's huge. Defense boost is going to poke out here. He's probably going for like a foul play or something into my Calyrex, which I got to watch out for. I might hard swap my Calyrex next turn. Because he probably is Rocket Sucker Punch or something like that. Rocket Dark Pulse. Dark, is Dark Pulse, is Dark Pulse physical or special? He's, no, he's got to be Rocket Sucker Punch regardless. Dark Pulse is a special. The other thing is Orbed. He is Orbed. Uh, I'm going to swap into Incineroar. Probably. Let's see who he brings out. Hopefully he brings out a physical attacker. Because I get to hard swap that thing into Incineroar. And I can roll into a max lightning together. It'd be gorgeous. It'd be lovely. Let's see what he wants to do here. Let's see what he wants to do here. Go in, go into the same Zacian. I think it was Zacian. He goes in Zacian, I'm hard swapping. I'm just gonna get the belt tall. We'll be defense boosted. We'll make that thing minus one. Yeah, Zacian's gonna come out here. Beautiful. Alright, let's swap. Let's swap. Let's swap. Let's intimidate. Let's uh, let's lightning and get rid of the Yvelta because I don't see Yvelta dying max, and I see Yvelta more so going for like a sucker bunch at this point. So we'll save our Calyrex for the back end, and we'll lightning across on the Yvelta. Though. Yvelts, Yvelts. Hopefully he's asking protects. That could be a nice little protect. I mean, if not, we can pick him out next turn. But we'll swap the Calyrex. Show me the sucker punch so my boy doesn't take any damage. But it's good to know Clink Clank actually does outspeed Yvelta. So Intimidate's gonna poke out here. We're plus one on defense for Clink Clank. That thing's. Back on even on the attack board. Intimidate's huge. And what's he going to go for here? Zassian's going to protect. Woo! Woo! Zassian's protecting. And we outspeed. It's going to be a big time turn for us. Take him out, please. Let's go, Clink Clank. Let's go. That's a big time turn for us. It's a big time turn. And I could fake out, which I'm probably going to do. I'll probably double down on Zassian at this point. Probably double down on Zassian at this point. 
Fake out. Try to get rid of him. Because if I can get rid of that Pokemon, that's just big turns. And he cannot swap. He cannot swap, so. The attack boost's not coming back. Big plays from Gene Joe. Clink Clank coming out here. Like I said, I've been playing really good. I've been playing so good with this Clink Clank team. I don't think I played bad with it. I think I played absolutely, like, better than I do with most teams. I've been playing phenomenal with it. Clink Clank is just so easy to use. He's so easy to just hop in the ladder with and just get rocked. Calyrex and Clink Clank. It's a really good combo. It's a really, really good combo. Plus, this hasn't been used more. Like, it's working really well. Like I said, should be we should be probably going 3-0 because I think we're going to win this battle. But, but of course, I said I think we're going to win this battle. So we're probably not going to win this battle now. But, dude, the last the, the last two battles, like, you guys cannot, like, you guys got to feel bad for me. At that point, it's bad. He's going to bring out Swampert. I'm cool with Swampert on the field. Um, At this point, he's probably going to have to Dynamax that. I should fake out and take him out, right? Get a defense boost on top of this as well because Swamper is physical attacking. I like it. Yo, cancel the battle. Just cancel the battle. Just cancel the battle. Give me the win. I do not want a chance that RNG can actually make me lose this battle. <laughs> he's going to double protect, yo, and he's going to land it, yo. These Zacians have been on fire with the protect. But dude, Clean Clank's thing's pretty strong. Like, not even just like pretty strong. It's ridiculously strong. It's super, super strong. Especially when you're going up against physical attacking teams. Like, you just boost that defense. You get from there. You just boost that defense heavenly. But he's going to end up Dynamaxing the Swampert. I'm cool with that. I have Palkia in the back end. Palkia can soak up a lot. A lot of stuff that he has to offer. Plus, I can get some crits. Let's see what he does with Zacian. He goes for double protect. And would you guys look at that? He doesn't even land a double protect. That is gorgeous. So fake out was not needed. Fake out was not needed, but it was there just in case. Seal Spike should come out here and pick up the KO. Let's say bye bye to Zacian. Clink Clank is buzzing. He's 3 0 with KOs with Dynamax moves, which is gorgeous. And our defense is boosted through the roof. Our defense is boosted through the roof. So Swampert might go for a geyser here to take out my Incineroar. If he does, he does. That's fine. Yeah. Just for the geyser. Can he eat that up somehow? You're plus one on defense. Oh, let's go instead. We're we'll party shot on him next turn. Wrap this battle up. Wrap this battle up. I'm going for the sweep, yo. I'm going for the sweep because we deserve it. Because we deserve the sweep. All day we deserve the sweep. Get this thing on out my face. Get this thing on out my face. Cancel the battle. My, my, my dog's rolling. And terrain's out. Terrain's out so I can steel roll. That's lovely. Even though steel roll won't do too much. But yeah, I'm just going to party shot here. I'm going to go for the steel roll. Actually, did we get impact instead? Nah, yo. We're going for a steel roll. Let's see how much damage it can do. Like I said, Terrain's on the field. We can just buzz with that. And he cancels battle, and we get the sweep in the third and final. Ladies and gentlemen, I am officially putting in my application for worst RNG in Pokemon Sword and Shield. I think I have it. I think I have it. Like, does anybody have worse RNG than those first two battles? I do not think so, because I have never seen a triple protect get landed, let alone somebody try a triple protect. Like, I, I would never try a triple protect, because chances are it's not going to land. But I want if you guys know the uh, chances of triple protect landing... Let me know in the comment section down below. But we go one and two for today's video. Definitely should have been three. No, you guys definitely know that we should have won that first two battles. But it's all good. I feel like we got to show off the team to its fullest potential and really, really do a lot of good work. We played really good with Clink Clank. Got to show him off. The Calyrex was amazing. Snorax was solid. Palkia is always good. And then the Moongus and Cinnamor, just lovely all around. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos get live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.